Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Hey, it's Mr. Pie here, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas out there, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show a DIY Christmas gift idea that you can make with a 3D printer and some photos. I'm talking about one of these. It's a spherical lithophane, or better known as a lithophane ornament, and uh, they're quite surprisingly easy to make, and they're pretty quick to make as well, and they'll look great on your tree. So let me show you how to make the first step of making your lithophane Christmas ornament is to select the pictures you want to use. So I've gone ahead and selected some Star Wars pictures here that I'm going to use for mine. And I'm just going to open up my Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to create a new document that's custom. And I'm going to make sure that the width is 4,000 millimeters and the height is 1,000. So I got that uh, 4 to 1 ratio, which is going to be really important when I put this into uh, the lithophane generator. That'll give me a complete 360 degree wraparound of the ornament that I'm going to create. And this gives me a template or a size at least for how big I need to make these pictures. As long as they're inside this white rectangle, they'll fit perfectly around the Christmas ball. So I'm just going to bring my pictures in. Place them here, and if you're not familiar with Illustrator, you can keep um, everything in context in, in terms of keeping uh, ratios by hitting shift and dragging on a corner as opposed to just dragging on the corner, and this way things don't become uh, warped or um, distorted. Now this one I'm going to distort a little bit, otherwise it's not going to fit in, so I'm not going to hit shift. I'm just going to drag the corner over, and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. And there you go. So this is going to be the picture that wraps around my Christmas ball. I'm just going to group everything together. Do that by clicking on them and holding shift at the same time. And then I'm going to export this as a JPEG to my desktop. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Chrome and I'm going to bring up a lithophane sphere maker. Uh, you can use any number of them. There's lots of different ones online. Uh, I like this one because it's free and I've read the terms of use and I'm okay with what they say. So uh, feel free to use this one with the settings I'm going to show you or you can find one and play around with it yourself. That's up to you. First thing I need to do is to choose my file. So I'm going to choose file and click on the JPEG that I just created. And you'll see that right here, uh, the angular width in degrees is now 359.65, which is almost 360. That little bit that it isn't going to cover really isn't going to show up. Uh, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to make sure that I flip the image because when this prints on my 3D printer, it's going to print upside down. And if I'm printing it upside down without the image flipped, when I go to hang it on my tree, the image will be upside down. And I don't want that. Next thing I'm going to need to do is to change some of these settings. Uh, the first one I'm going to change is the sphere diameter. I'm going to drop that from 140 to 50 instead. And I'm going to go down to the max thickness. I'm going to change that from 2.7 to 2.4 millimeters. From there, I'm going to go down to the uh, outer diameter of the cylinder. And I'm going to set that from 70 to 15 uh, And then I'm going to take the height and I'm going to reduce that from 25 to 4. I'm going to reduce the thickness from 5 to 2, and then I'm going to reduce the uh, outer ledge from 75 millimeters to 17 millimeters. And then you can put in your um, email address, and then you can create your STL file. So I'm just going to open up the zip file or unzip it, and that will give me a folder uh, called Spherical Star Wars. Try saying that 10 times fast. And then inside that is my STL file. I'm just going to pull that out onto my desktop. So I'm just going to open up my uh, Slicer software here, which I'm using Cura. Um, and I've already set the settings for the Christmas ball. 
Um, but there's a couple key points you want to have here depending on what you're using as a printer. I'm using an Ender 5 Pro. Um, these are the settings I found work the best for me. The big ones are uh, layer height. You want a small layer height. I've got mine set at 0.12. The bigger your layer height, the more grainy your images are going to appear on the lithophane. So make sure you set that small. Um, also, you want to make sure that your infill is uh, 100%, not 20 or 25. Uh, if it's not 100% solid infill, you're going to see the lines through the, the uh, image, and that's going to distort the image. And then the other one you want to make sure you do is that uh, you slow down your printer speed. Um, so some people will tell you slow it down as much as uh, 15 millimeters per second. Um, I found that if you slow it down to about 50% of whatever your regular printing speed is, you'll still get a really good ball out of it. Um, so once you've done that, you'll probably want to play around with your settings. I'll post my settings in the description for this video so you can use those as a starting point. But once you've done that, you're just going to drag your STL file in. And then you can see it's there. Now I found on the Ender 5 Pro that I don't need to print with any supports. Um, it prints just fine without them. What I do put is uh, about a 20 millimeter um, raft around the outside of it just to support it as it's printing. Um, but other than that, you don't need any supports that go up onto the ball. Slicing this, it's usually about uh, six and a half hours on the Ender Pro and the Ender 5 Pro. Um, might be different on yours, I'm not sure, but once you've got it sliced, you can save it to uh, however you choose, and then you're, uh, you're printing. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Just wanted to take a moment to wish you a happy holidays. I hope you and your family are safe wherever you are and that uh, you enjoy the holiday season.